Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the craziest of the FTKs with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living banquet boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1500 ladder. I gotta be honest with y'all, I'm not gonna put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. This FTK, <laughs> the gimmick puppet FTK has to be way better even after the hits it got on the bailiffs because this looks like garbage on paper. So what the heck am I talking about? So apparently uh, shown off by the man, the myth, the word salad himself, M. Cole frickin' 40, uh, apparently this DD Dynamite FTK deck made top 16 at, I guess, a regional. I don't know if this was a 16-man regional and he got top 16 or what. I don't want to take anything away from his invite, but I also don't want this to be a top 16 that someone got at a 16-man local. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> this format is so dog water, it's like, I can't even be surprised at this point. Like, th the fact that DD Dynamite FTK spawned from the annals of Master Shits, or the bowels, I guess, of Master Shits, uh, goes to show, like, I guess how garbage this deck is, and also how garbage Master Duel, aka, as we like to say on the channel, Master Shits is, um... But, yeah. Also, I think it was really funny that one of my subscribers commented and said, I like how you say Master Duel is terrible, but yet you don't have to pay money for cards in the game. But it's also like, you have to play with Max C in that game. And it only gets worse as they add more cards into it. Can you imagine what Master Duel is going to be like once you get all the Mulch Armies? Yeah, Sugar Boo Bear. The OCG is going to have to deal with 11 Max Cs. Woo! Yeah. So, anyway, let's talk about this deck. So, how does this deck work? Basically... DD Dynamite, it inflicts 300 damage to the opponent for each of their removed play cards, aka banish cards for those of y'all who weren't around from back in the day. Then you have Banquet a Million. So you banish any number of cards from your extra deck face down. The extra deck does not matter. This wasn't his extra deck, but this is mine for my Exodia list. So the extra deck can be any 15 cards you want. Uh, maybe even three copies of Sky Crisis, because why not? Uh, banish any number of cards from your extra deck face down. Banish the same number of random face down cards excuse me, from your opponent's extra deck face up until the end phase. I felt like I was going to have to burp with how toxic this deck is. <laughs> um, so basically, you want to set up three DD Dynamite, hit the opponent with a bank with a million so that they lose 15 cards out of their extra deck. They're going to take 300 damage for each banished card. So at minimum, you got 15 cards banished, 15 and 15, uh, 3 times 15 is 45, so if you can hit at least 2 DD Dynamites, you win the ball game with 9,000 damage. Congratulations, you just won your feature match. <laughs> so, anyway, let's dive on into this deck list. We're playing 2 copies of Radiant the Multidimensional Kaiju, because if you lose the die roll, you're crapping all over the floor, I guess. 3 copies of Shifter, because you want your opponent's cards to be banished, and you don't want them hitting you with Droll, because... <laughs> Ha! Spoiler alert! <laughs> you auto lose to Droll, bro. <laughs> oh my god, how did this person get top 16? It had to be 16 people. Like, it had to be 17 and somebody dropped. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. So then he got Lilith, Lady of Lament. So if this card's normal summon, its original type becomes 1,000. We don't care. Uh, it's got a quick effect where you tribute a dark monster to reveal three normal traps from your deck. Your opponent randomly chooses one for you to set to the field and you shuffle the rest back into the deck. Notice that it doesn't say three normal traps with different names, so you can reveal three things with the same names, like Banquet or DD Dynamite, and then it just gets set. Um, three copies of Droll, the one copy of Magician Souls, which is just really a draw engine, like just for any dead cards. You could pitch like Transaction Rollback, or like you're going second cards, get them in the grave and just draw. Uh, wannabe, during the end phase, you could send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Excavate cards on the top of your deck equal to the number of your opponent's unused spell and trap zones, and you can set an excavate a trap to your field but send it to the graveyard during the next end phase you don't care also place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order you can only use this effective wannabe once per turn you're playing two copies of it you get it into your hand you pitch it to set your banquet or your dd dynamite it's really whatever spells we're playing three lure because you're playing what two three four five six seven eight nine you're playing nine dark targets which in the two test hands i did i hardly ever saw any darks so do with that what you will one raigeki because going second sucks one feather duster because reasons one card of demise because it's good three dark world dealings because we want to draw three mallet because you brick like it's your middle name and anyone who's going to brick it's going to be me because as i've said before on the channel i have terrible dog water luck in this game three duality um you, you don't really special summon so yeah uh two transaction rollback so that you can basically have more copies of dd dynamite you like if you only hit one but you've got a transaction rollback with 15 banished cards in the opponent's extra deck you still win because you just use this and use the rollback to copy that's nine thousand damage 
um the for the traps yeah yeah, yeah. so uh th- i almost lost my train of thought there three dynamite three banquet and then three trap trick um yeah pretty pretty standard actually one of the test hands that i did was actually test hand number two because i only did two of the two test hands and i realized the deck was dog shit no offense but it kind of is um this you can only activate one trap card so like even if you set two of these and you've got this and you didn't hit them with banquet you lose because like if you activate this and set banquet and then play banquet you can't use your dynamites so yeah that's pretty rough the extra deck does not matter like i said it can be any 15 cards you want maybe throw in like three sky crisis just so that you can kind of go second a little bit better like you can summon like a wannabe and make a sky crisis but if you go second with this deck you're probably fucking losing like let's just be honest here um so on to the side deck we're playing one nibiru uh one uh lord of the heavenly prison three invader of darkness your opponent can activate quick plays so runic just kind of craps all over the floor uh two by steals neither of which are named magna mutt surprisingly uh one Druus worm one baldrick three uh zalamander catalyzer this is seen in dark world uh you play a decent amount of fiends um it's a shame that wannabe's not a fiend but yeah um so like you can cheese out lilith or something uh and then the one ash one ogre and two dogwood uh, for time um i guess the hand traps are there because they're good and then one copy of evenly matched because you're a trap deck, I guess. I I feel like that this side deck was kind of put together last minute. Like, I, I haven't watched any deck profile from the player. I didn't listen to mco 40s explanation because, quite honestly, I don't care to listen to his explanation. It's it's mostly word salad. I'm sorry, Robbie, but you've turned it into word salad. No offense. Uh, makes it very hard to listen to you. Um, yeah, the, the side deck looks like it, it was just vomited together like two minutes before the regional or the 16-man local or the 17-man local because <laughs> someone dropped. <laughs> Oh my god. Let, let, let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, three, four, five. Uh, this is this is actually kind of decent. So you set everything. You're going to go Demise and hit one, two, three. Uh, and wow, you actually win because you hit the trap trick. Wow, I'm talking all that shit. And then we actually hit an FTK hand. Because uh, you got this and this. And then you can go trap trick into Banquet of Millions. Opponent's not really going to have a way to stop that. You also got duality for more gas. Um, cool. Let's see. Three, four, five. Well, now you're playing with a four card hand because this is dead. Uh, three, four, five. So you've got Lilith to get you to a trap. That can get you to dynamite. So that's deck thinning. Um, dealings can maybe draw you into banquet if you do that first, although I'm sure that you won't. The allure is kind of dead. Maybe the duality gets you there. Um, let's see. Three, four, five. You're playing a four card hand because the feather duster is dead. Uh, three, four, five, uh, you're going to go dealings, draw into Lilith. You're going to go, uh, a lure to draw wannabe and trap trick and then banish the Lilith. And then you're excavating five and hoping that you hit double dynamite because you already have trap trick. And based on these five, you're not hitting that. So you lose. Uh, no, a uh, three, four, five. Uh, okay. Shifter. Cool. Maybe the opponent can't play on your turn on their turn. So you get the game back to you. Um, if you go second, you can shift to them and hope it's enough. Uh, three, four, five. Uh, duality into three hits you nothing. Maybe you play Mallet at that point and go Allure. I don't know. That just seems dog shit. So, okay. so overall, what do I think about this deck? If I could quit burping like I'm some sort of animal out of a cave. Okay. Sorry, I just had dinner. Um, th- this deck is dog water. I mean, the fact that someone got top 16 with this, again... It could very well have been a regional, and this person just drew godly, or they stacked, all day. And if they did it legitimately, and it was like at a regional, and they got their invite, congrats. Like, that's that's cool. Um, you know, no, no skin off my bones. You know, the more diversity, if you even want to call this that, uh, for, for what it is, um, you know, the more different decks you have to play in a format, especially one that's just as bad as this with you know, six mulch armies and snake eye being a, the still the best deck because it has amino cards and then you bell still being good. Uh, the, the, this format's just not a fun time. Fiend Smith, uh, you, I'm preaching to the choir. Um, you know, having different decks, especially if you're on a budget that you can play is cool. Cause if you think about it, the, the one good thing I'll give this right is that this is very budget. Like shifters, pennies on the dollar, drolls, pennies, uh, there's nothing in here that just yells at me, hey, I'm expensive. I mean, I guess rollbacks, but like, what are we talking? 20 bucks, maybe? If I'm just guessing a number out of my out of my holes without me getting demonetized. Um, so you're spending money on the rollback and then any 15 cards in the extra deck you want. And honestly, the side deck could 
I feel like it could just be anything because this side deck looks like liquid ass. Um, yeah, like this is this is what fifty dollars to build the whole thing. Like if you don't have anything at all, fifty dollars if that. Like cool, I guess. Um, I I think it's interesting that someone was able to get top sixteen, regardless of whether it's a locals, regional, whatever. All jokes aside. Um, but it, it goes to show that someone just decided to take the, the, the Pepsi challenge and was like, no, nah, we're just going to roll in with this. Um, but the, the reason why it's dog shit, like, look, you're, you're playing this for going second, this, these are basically a brick. If you're going first, like, what are you doing? You're going to mallet them and then maybe draw them again. Like, uh, if you only see this with the two dynamite, you lose because you got to be able to play the banquet. It just, it, it screams to me like it's just not good. So Anyway, I'm still just kind of sitting back and letting the format do its thing, um, and I've already made a bunch of money this format. I'm on the road to making like over $1,200. I might need to make a video about that, but guys, let me know what you think about this deck down in the comments. I just, I wanted to have a good laugh because this, this shit's ridiculous. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.